What's up guys, I am back to bring you a mini recap on The Circle NYC season three. We did not get an official episode, but we did receive an anniversary special. And I wasn't going to do a recap on it, which is why this recap is delayed, my God, but never denied. But I did want to kind of address it. There was an episode, it wasn't a full on episode, but I did want to expound and maybe share with the church some things that were said from the cast during the anniversary special, as well as encourage you guys to go watch the anniversary special because I believe the conversations and knowledge that was shared was very significant and profound, my God. So the main reason, no shade, no, it's not the main reason, but I do wanna say I was called out by James Caldwell for not catching that Bugs was up in drag and there was a photo that was shared in the first episode. I don't know why I continuously missed the photo. I watched the episode twice in full, was searching and looking. And I don't know why I never put that photo as being bugs. I totally missed it. But in this anniversary special, the question was asked of bugs. How does he feel about feminine gaze and or gaze attacking him or dragging him for having done drag in the past? And I will say bugs is handsome as a guy. and He actually looked really pretty as a woman up in drags, but I loved his answer to that question. And he stated that he has never and will never regret what he's done in the past. Um, he owns it, he embraces it, and he loves it. And all he requires is for everyone to respect him. And he said, although it was sad to see that people were um, using that against him, the reality of it is he has no regrets. So I thought it was beautiful for him to share that, say that, and to, I guess, embrace um, all of life's experiences, and now he is in a loving, committed relationship with Chad, my God, as a cisgender male. What his beard was moisturized with, they asked, was it coochie juice, my God. He clarified and said it was booty juices, my God. So I guess that Chavis is informing us that he is, if he's not a total top, my God, he's at least versatile because he gets in the booty. Although there are some total bottoms who do eat booty. So I guess my answer is still not confirmed if Chavis is a top bottom reversal, oh my God. But at least we know he eats booty, my God. And he uses the booty juices to moisturize his beautiful beard. Also Chavis was asked what his nationality is. It was interesting that Lester Nunu Matthews chose to give us subtitles to clarify that Chavis said he used booty juices for his beard to moisturize it, my God, but he did not use <laughs> subtitles in a caption where we needed it. And that was when he stated what his nationality is. It was not clear to me. I heard some Egyptian, I'm not sure if he said black and white, I'm not sure 100%. So church, if you caught it, please comment down below. Chavis, if you are watching this video, comment down below, let us know what your nationality is because I'm sorry, he's a beautiful man, but I did not catch what he said in reference to his nationality, church. I know I heard Egyptian, but I could be wrong. So we need some clarification on that, my God. There was a great question that was asked to Earth Tone as well as Tom, his boyfriend, from a standpoint of addressing interracial relationships, especially as gay men. And the question was asked, how is it for Earth Tone to date an Irish man and to be embraced or rejected by his family? And they did allow Tom to share that he pretty much gave Earth Tone the heads up, letting him know that you may hear some things that my family may say because they're not used to having a black person around. And Earth Tone said he said the same thing to Tom, be mindful that my black family is not used to having a white man around. So you may hear some things as well. And I thought that was a very mature conversation to have, especially when we can be so quick to throw the word racism or racist around and not to negate that people can actually be racist. But I think that a lot of times we forget that when we are so used to being around our own kind, we may make jokes, we may judge, we may use stereotypes of another race that in a sense does come across the racist. So I love that they had the conversation of acknowledging that there may be some things that could be said because of each culture not being used to having another person's culture around, my God. So it just shows that they are at least taking the necessary steps 
to make their relationship work and it's a beautiful thing to see. And I love that we got to hear Tom expound and share on the relationship as well. Another question was asked directed towards B Hawk. And the question was, how does he feel about being androgynous in New York? And he said he pretty much just wants everyone to mind their business. He does have different layers to who he is. One being gay, two being feminine, and three he has the layer of being androgynous, which combines masculinity and femininity. So he's getting it from so many sides. So I think his thing is just, if we all focus on being us and accepting others for who they are, then the world will be a much better place, my God. Another great question was asked, and I love this question from a content creator standpoint, because I think that Nunu pretty much answered the best way we all would. And the question was asked of him, how does he balance his personal life along with pursuing his dreams and careers and making this work. And he said he has no life. And that's pretty much how I feel with doing recaps and reviews and interviews. It is definitely 100% hard, but sometimes I just put all this shit down, the lights, the cameras, the notes, the TV shows, whatever it is, I just take a moment and stop and embrace a weekend for myself, which is why sometimes recaps are gonna be late, my God, because you have to take moments to enjoy life, enjoy what you've created, and enjoy the fruits of your labor, my God. So that's my, I guess, words of wisdom to Nunu. Don't be so consumed about not having a life because of being so driven and goal-oriented. We have to take time to live life and be happy because it will so easily and so quickly pass us by. And that is my main uh, regret, although I don't really have many regrets in life. My main regret is working so hard to where these past 33 years, especially the years of my adulthood, I pretty much lost and missed experiences for being so focused on only work and being successful, my God. Next, there was a question asked of David Boom, who I just love his personality, my God. He was asked how and or what made him be a part of this show. He said he didn't want to be a part of the show, but Nunu pretty much kind of convinced him to do one episode or at least try it out. And then after the one episode of him drinking, having fun, it just never stopped, but he did not want to do this show. And it was great to hear him share that because I think many people um, straddle the fence on, should I do it or should I not do it? And it was great to see that he actually has enjoyed the experience and continued to be a part of this show because I do believe he is a great asset to the Circle NYC. Last but not least, there was a question asked to Nunu. And it was in reference to this project versus his other projects, which have a significant message. And it is a very pointed subject to where this is just mainly entertainment and possibly drama. And he said that his objective in the circle was to do what other reality web series are not doing. And that is presenting a real, raw, authentic um not even storyline, it's just their real lives, my God. And he said this is the first time that he's ever pretty much put the cast or his cast members in scenarios where it was a surprise to them, my God. So I just know that that's the reason why I love this show. It is something different. We're getting interracial relationships. We're getting committed relationships. We're getting a more substantial and reality of substance, which is very raw. And it's funny because I've said in the past, this show does not get as much publicity as it deserves, but I think it's because it lacks drama. This show is expressing and showing real life people in the LGBTQ community, my God. And it's not always a bunch of drama. Sometimes it's just hard work and trying to make it day by day as an androgynous human being, as a uh, interracial couple, my God, as a black gay couple that's trying to make it in a world where there are so many open relationships and or cheating, my God, or David Bloom having so much going on where he's a socialite, or you have Chavis, my God, who is this model and gorgeous man, my God. There are so many different aspects and cultures that's going into this project and um, it's not going to always be about drama. And that's why I said mentally for me, I like this show where others are looking for drama and think that it's boring. I feel like this is a show that I can watch and enjoy 
and not have to be so concerned about who's fighting who, who has beef with who. But I do believe that's going to come at some point because Melly B is a part of this season, but wasn't at this particular anniversary interview panel discussion, which is interesting to me because I was informed in the past that the church wanted to know what my opinions would be concerning Melly B because I'm assuming from what they've shared, he has been messy or caused issues in previous seasons, my God. So I think people are gonna get the drama that they're looking for, but I do love how this show is pacing itself and showing the community in a positive light and showing that these people are working on being their best selves as well as just trying to make it um, through everyday life, my God. So that's about it, guys. Please just comment down below in the comment section. Thumbs up this video. Follow me on all social media outlets. Share this video. Watch The Circle NYC. Please support it. Oh, I didn't even mention, it also incorporates out hip hop, hip hop artists in the community, my God. So yeah, guys, thank you for tuning in. Share this video. Bye, guys.